to the city of Cape Town now, which is gearing up for a safer festive season this year. The popular international destination has been grappling with headline grabbing, uh, grabbing rather crimes in recent times, particularly muggings on hiking trails. Known hotspots will be the focus for law enforcement officials in the city to ensure a smooth holiday period for all visitors and residents. ENCS reporter Nobesu Tuhechana is tracking that story for us and she joins us now live. Nobesu to what exactly exactly is in the city of Cape Town's campaign to make residents and tourists feel safe this festive season. Well, Masekho, they're using a partnership with SAPS, uh, uh, Table Mountain uh, Rangers, as well as other city of Cape Town law enforcement agencies, and also partnering with neighborhood watches um, that are nearby the Table Mountain and other areas that have been um, deemed as hotspots. We do know that Table Mountain, Burgab is amongst um, the areas that uh, there's been a number of incidents that have been reported, especially where international tourists have been marked. So the city of Cape Town spent, is spending rather between 20 to 30 million and that will ensure that uh, those who are visiting the mother city and uh, those who are from the mother city will enjoy their first of season. Uh, we also heard from the mayor, Mr. Jordan Hill Lewis, talking about the fact that they are hoping to attract more people visiting the city of Cape Town. And just, I think it was in um, last month where they've also seen quite a huge number of people visiting the city saying that this is unheard for. And they're hoping that they will reach their 2018 numbers and uh, saying that, I mean, we can't expect people visiting Cape Town when we're not ensuring safety. We do know that the National Tourism Minister also spent millions from her budget and uh, they are also going to be deploying their safe, festive safety first of safety monitors and the city of Cape Town also deploying about 80 of their law enforcement agencies into these areas but let's take a listen to the mayor explaining how they are planning to ensure safety during the festive season. So all indications from the hotel industry and the airline industry is that we are on track for a bumper season probably our record season actually. Uh, which is going to be so wonderful for our local economy, for many jobs in the tourism sector. But it, a lot hinges on whether tourists can feel safe in our city and visitors, whether they come from around South Africa, from Joburg and Durban, or whether they come from around the world. They must come and have a good holiday and feel safe here. So we are making an extra deployment, 80 extra officers from our side, focused on tourism hotspots. Uh, then uh, our partners from Sand Parks right over here are also making extra offices available on the mountain inside their national park. And, uh, and then we are also working with SAPS as well who are here today. They are making extra offices available in those tourism hotspots. So together with that partnership, I hope we can make sure that people leave our city having a fun and safe holiday. It's not just our offices, we also have some technology. You saw our chopper, uh, you saw our drones here behind me, you saw our horses, our equine unit, our canine unit. So it's quite a big deployment. We've got motorbikes, we've got uh, the four-wheelers, we've got the, the guys on bicycles that are going to be going around. So we're spending uh, probably around 20 to 30 million rand on this deployment. Uh, but given the fact that there are literally billions of rands being spent in our city supporting jobs in our city by all of those visitors it is so important it's, it's one of the best investments we could make and Nibisutu, what about sand parks as a partner what uh, you know what will be their role in terms of festive season safety Sure. So we know that sand parks between September and October, they recorded about 18 incidents of marking. But obviously the organizations like Friends of Table Mountain are saying that there's quite more of those incidents that, are, that have not been reported. And we heard from the parks manager saying that although they welcome the partnerships to ensure safety for their visitors, some of their issues, especially when it comes to their parks, to ensure 100% safety is that sand parks are not gated so that leaves a room for criminals to roam as much as they want and it's the visitors that become victims of these crimes but let's take a listen to the manager speaking about some of their plans to also ensure their safety 
I think it's great that there are going to be extra feet on the ground because any increase of resources with our partnerships will help us to target crime, especially in the busy tourist season when we just have a, a huge influx of people. So, so it's great that the city of Cape Town is putting more resources into assisting us in areas in the park as well as in other tourist areas in Cape Town. Number two to hit China live for us in Cape Town with that report on what they're planning. The government there is planning to keep people safe this festive season.